Good morning, everyone. How are you today? It's Mr. Muhammad from St. Joseph International School. In this session, we're going to discuss Unit 2, Elliot's new friend. First, we're going to start with the vocabulary. The first picture we have here is lonely. Lonely. What does lonely mean? Lonely is a feeling we can feel it when we don't have anyone to talk to, when we don't have any friends. So it's a feeling. So it's the picture of lonely. 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 Number two, this is sad. 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 It's a feeling when we are not happy. So this is sad. Let's move to number three. Scared. 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 We feel scared when we are afraid of something. Okay. So this is scared. Scared. Number four. Play. 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 Number five. This boy is doing what? Yeah, eat, 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 eat. Number six, this is sleep, 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 sleep. Let's move to number seven. This beautiful animal is called turtles. 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 Many of us can know this animal with the word turtle. 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 So we have two words for this animal. Turtles. Turtle. Turtles. Turtle. Okay, both are right. Let's move to number eight. Elephant. Elephant. Elephant number nine Hamster 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 Number ten This beautiful fish is called goldfish 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 Okay let's move to number eleven bird 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 okay let's move to number 12 rabbit 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 the next one we have here lizard 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 has the ability to change its color. For example, if, she, if it stands on a green leaf or on a tree, its color turns to green. And if, it's, if it stands on a land or a sand, its color changes to brown or yellow. So it has the ability to change its color. This is the animal lizard. 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 The last word we have today is kitten. 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 What is the difference between kitten and cat? Cat is the big one. Cat is the big one. But kitten is the small one. Okay, so kitten is a small cat. But cat is the big one. Okay. We have finished the vocabulary. Now we're going to start with the grammar. We're going to know the difference between this, that, these, and those. All of these words, we use them to point at something or things. But we have two kinds, the singular and the plural. Of course, we know that the th singular is just one thing, but the plural is more than one thing. First, we're going to start with the singular nouns. We use two words to point at something singular. 
this and that this and that we use the word this to point at something which is close to us near us again this with the eye we use it to point at something which, which is close to us near us okay but what about that with the a at that we use it to point at something which is far from us far okay so this we use it to point at something which is close that when i point to something which is far from us and we as we have said before in the singular noun of course we use is or are yes correct answer we're gonna choose is so this is and that is let's take some examples to understand in number one can you see this picture this is a boat right yeah this boat is close to the sentence so i choose or i will use the word this is a boat this is a boat number two this phone is it close to the sentence no it's far from the sentence so i use the word that is a phone that is a phone number three this rabbit here it's close to the sentence so i use the word this is this is a rabbit i can't hear i can't use that because it's close and we have said that with the close things or the close object we use this not that but in number four this turtle is far from the sentence so i use what this no i use that in the turtle's excellent work so in number four that is a turtle because the turtle here is far from the sentence okay now let's talk about the plural objects or the plural nouns in the plural i use two different words these and those and of course we have said that the plural of nouns or the plural object we use is or are of course we're gonna start we're not gonna use are so we have two words these are and those are these are i use it when i want to point at things or many objects which is close to us close to us like this but in this we use it to the singular but these with the plural nouns okay so i use the word these are when i point to things which are close to us what about those are i use those with the o those are to point at far objects far objects like that i use it with the far object also but those with the plural and that with the singular don't forget this information okay let's take some examples number one these two circles they are close to the sentence or far from the sentence they are close to the sentence so i use these are two circles these are two circles number two the same two circles but they are far from the sentence they are far from the sentence so i use those are two circles those are two circles because they are far from the sentence okay number three the two rabbits here they are close or far from the sentence they are close so i use these or those of course i'm gonna use these are two rabbits these are two rabbits what about the lizards here we have three lizards here are they close to the sentence no they are far from the sentence so i use those are three lizards those are three lizards here we have a video to explain this that these those let's listen to us together and we're gonna pack
Hi kids! Today we will learn where we use this, that, these, and those. So let's start. First, let's learn about this. This is a pencil. This is a book. This is a ball. This is a balloon. This so all these things are close to the boy and it's singular so I use this. Let's continue. This is a kite. This is a jar. This is a cat. This is my home. So kids, when any person, place or thing is near to us, we use this. Now, let's learn about that. That is my home. I am using that because home is far from me. If it would have been closer, we would have used this. That is my school. I am saying that because it is far from me. I would have said this if it would have been closer to me. That is my friend. I am using that because the friend is standing far from me. If he would have been standing near me, I would have said, this is my friend. Let's have some more examples. This is an apple tree. That is a mango tree. So, we use this for the nearer tree. And we use that for the farther tree. This is my pencil. That is your pencil. We use this for a nearer pencil. And that for a farther pencil. This is my home. And that is your home where we use these. These are my pens. These are my clothes. These are my balloons. These are my toys. These are my books. These are my erasers. So we use these for plural naming words that are near to us. Now, let's see where do we use those. Those are my pens. Those are my apples. Those are my clothes. Those are my toys. Those are my erasers. So we use those when we are talking about plurals that are far from us. When the objects are far from us. Okay kids, today we learned where to use this, that, these, and those. Now you may go ahead. As we have said, that with the plural pronouns or the plural nouns, we use this and that. This for the close objects, that for the far objects. With the plural objects, we use these with the close objects and those for the far objects. Now, let's solve some exercises. Number one. Okay, here we're going to choose the correct answer. Can you see this picture in the kitten? Number one. Yeah. This kitten is close or far from the sentence. Of course, it's close. So we use this or that. This. Yeah, this is a kitten. And number two. The picture of rabbit is far from the sentence. So we use that is a rabbit. That, not this. Okay, what about number three? The two circles here are close to the sentence. So we use the word these, not those. These, not those. Number four, the two birds. The two words here, of course, they are plural, so we're going to choose one of the two words, these or those. 
Okay, they are close or far? They are far. They are far from the sentence. So we're gonna choose those are birds. Those are birds. Number five, this kitten is singular or plural? Singular, so with the singular nouns we use is or are. Of course, is, so this is a kitten. Number two, the two birds here, singular or plural? Plural, so we choose is or are, are and they are far, so these are two birds. Okay, number seven, this lizard is close or farther from the sentence? It's far from the sentence, so we choose that is a lizard. That is a lizard. The two rabbits here, are they close or far from the sentence? They are close, so we choose these or those. Of course, we're going to choose these are rabbits. Here we have two circles and they are far from the sentence. So we choose these or those. Of course, we're going to choose those. Okay, guys, today we have learned that we have four words to point at something. This, that, these, those. With the singular nouns, we use two words. This and that. This with the clause objects and that for the far objects. What about the plural nouns? We have also two words, these and those. We use these for the close objects, but those with the far objects. This is the end of our session. I will see you soon. Goodbye.